Hi everyone. Today, I am at Animal Kingdom. Um, this is my first time here in a really long time. Um, so I'm so excited for this. And as I'm walking in to the front, I am greeted by this beautiful Christmas tree. Oh, I love, love when Disney decorates for the holidays. And I love this tree because it just has so many cute little characters at the bottom of it. And it has a lot of cool animals on the tree. Oh, look at those like cool hidden Mickeys. Those are awesome. A lot of Winnie the Pooh characters. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. It's a little elephant from the Jungle Book. But it has a lot of pretty snowflakes and um, cool like animals made out of like, metal. I love this. I love this tree. So cool. So, so I, I'm gonna be taking you guys around today. I'm not really quite sure what I'm gonna do yet but I'm just gonna enjoy it. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've come here, so I'm just gonna go around and enjoy the day, ride some rides, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm so excited right now, you guys. I don't think I've been here in at least a month and it's actually my first time coming here by myself just me today no Nate but I am actually thinking I'm gonna head over into Dino Land first and go explore over there but it's actually so cool because last year they had like um, kind of like puppet things around this area. Um, but this year they have all just these really pretty decorations. And they're all up on the on the tops of the roofs and stuff. It's so pretty and it's so simple. Alright. We made it to Dino Land. One of my favorite things, I wish we were here at night, because one of my favorite things is that this dinosaur, it's all lit up, and it has, um, it has a Santa, Santa hat, and a white beard that lights up too at night. The sun is in like the perfect spot though right now, um, for you guys not to see it. Oh, so it's actually lit up right now. I don't know if you can see it at all, but it's changing colors. So that's pretty cool that they have it all, all day. This is what I love to see. Dinosaur is a 10 minute wait. Perfect, perfect way to start the morning. Just got off of dinosaur that was so fun I wish that I could take you guys on that but like obviously you're pretty much in like the pitch black the entire time so you guys wouldn't be able to see anything but I haven't rode that in so long that was awesome that was so fun all right I actually found a little cavalcade Pocahontas and Miko not a holiday one but still cute super cute Okay, but tell me this isn't one of the best rides here. Try to fight me on it. I'm so excited. This ride is so awesome. And I haven't gone on this in so long. So I'm excited. Let's go. Alright, it says a 35 minute wait. It's not at all. It's moving so fast. Which I'm really excited about. So uh, let's go find that Yeti.
fun. I'm obsessed with that ride. Um, I wish I could take you guys on it because it's just so cool. But the thing with Animal Kingdom rides, it's like if you take your phone on, you're gonna lose it. Or if you take your camera on, you're gonna lose it. Um, or maybe that's just what I think. I'm still, still getting used to the vlogging by myself, so. We'll see, I'll have to get used to it. But, I think I'm gonna stop at, there's, I think there's a bar over here. I think I'm gonna stop and get myself a drink. And then after that, we'll take a little walk over to Kilimanjaro Safari and Zuri's Sweet Shop and see what delicious holiday treats that we can find. All right, so I took a stop at the Thirsty River Bar. Got myself a drink and I'm just sitting, I'm sitting by the water right now where all the cavalcades come by. Um, and I've seen three cavalcades so far. So, and I forgot to film them. But, um, I got this drink. I think I got it before and it's like unbelievable. Um, it is, it has rum, raspberry, coconut. I wish, let me find, let me find the actual name. Let me find what's actually in it. But it is so good and it's frozen. Um, so it's super refreshing right now. It feels so good. Because it's actually pretty hot out and I did not dress for the day. Oh my gosh, another cavalcade! <laughs> Wait, I have to show you this one. Okay. So it is Goofy and Chip and Dale. And their little boat is all decked out with Christmas! It's called the Kumba Ice Fall. So it's um, guava rum blended with coconut and raspberry puree. It is so good. Like, and it's dangerous too because it doesn't taste like there's rum in this. So, I highly recommend this. It's like right next to Expedition Everest. It's called the Thirsty River Bar. So. When I see more cavalcades too, I'll show you guys those. But I had to take a break for a second because I really overdressed for the day. And I'm really hot. So. Alright, I found another cavalcade. Here it comes. We got Rafiki and Timon. So I am on my way to Kilimanjaro Safaris right now and I'm passing um, the Up Great Bird Adventure show and I noticed that they put these beautiful lanterns up over here again like they did last year um, for the holidays. I want to say at night they light up um, which is beautiful. But they're still beautiful during the daytime, and I'm glad that they actually put them back up this year. It's hard to say, you know, what, like we weren't sure what Disney was going to be doing this year with everything that had been going on. Um, like, <clears throat> for example, I've noticed that Toy Story Land has no decorations. Um, so I was curious to see, you know, what they'd be putting up, but I'm glad that they put those up because those are really pretty. So, but we're on our way to Kilimanjaro Safari right now. All right, so I took a minute to grab some food. And the, um, the drummers are coming by on their little boat. Playing some Christmas music. Mr. Kamal's. Um, I've heard really awesome things about Mr. Kamal's. And so I got their chicken dumplings with ponzu sauce. Um, and they look like they're like deep fried. And it smells 
amazing. So I'm gonna try it out for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna test these dumplings out for you guys. Well, and for myself, I should say. Um, I'm so excited. It's like um, the ponzu sauce is kind of like a like a soy sauce. Just by the smell of it, I can just tell. Um, but so this is what it looks like. It's like nice and crispy, and it seems like it's deep fried. Um, it just looks so good. So let's try it. That is amazing. It is, it's actually really like jam packed with filling, which sometimes they're not. It's mostly like, sometimes it's mostly like the wrappings, but it's so good. The, the outside, it's like actually a little sweet. Um, and then with the sauce, with like the soy sauce, it's so good. I don't understand why I've never had these before, um, but these are awesome. So I think it was like, it was $5.99. Um, before tax for the three of them um, so not personally I don't think it's awful I've seen I've seen worse prices um, but it's good it's like like a quick little bite to eat so wow this is like amazing I have an awesome view. Like, I have the tree of life right here. Find me. So, these are awesome though. I definitely recommend them. They're from Mr. Kamal's. Um, like I said, $5.99 for three of them before tax. Um, and they're awesome. So good. They also have um, seasoned fries there that I've heard really great things about. Um, so, if you ever walk by Mr. Kamal's, it's like a little, it's just like a little stand kind of a thing. If you walk by there and they're open, highly recommend these. All right, so I'm on my way over towards the safari, but I'm gonna stop in Zuri's Suites before I go over there. All right, you guys, let's check out all the goodies they have. They have some pretty awesome cupcakes, some marshmallows, Rice Krispie treats, candy apples, gingerbread. These all look amazing. Alright guys. This, this is the line I'm about to get in for uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris. Super fun, super fun. I'm hoping it moves faster than what it looks like. Because this is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen it go down this far. But how can you, how can you come to Animal Kingdom and not ride Kilimanjaro Safari? I feel like that is like a huge, I don't know, I feel like that's like the most prominent ride for Animal Kingdom. So here we are, and now we wait.
All right, guys. The safari was awesome. Um, before the safari actually started, though, um, the driver actually said, you know, there's not going to be any stopping today um, because they were incorporating a new animal into the safari. Um, so they needed to get used to, like, hearing the trucks and stuff like that going by. Um, so he didn't say what it was, but at the end, um, at the end of the safari, I went up and I asked him, and he said that there was a baby giraffe born a couple weeks ago, so they, they're incorporating her into the safari now. So they have a new little baby giraffe and I think that that's so cute I wish that I wish that I had like gotten a chance to take a peek but um, he said with the safari you know all of them were kind of clumped together hiding in the back it's because they were protecting the little baby so it was really only one giraffe that we saw up close um, but I'm so excited now I'll have to come back and try to find the new baby um, but yeah, so that was super fun though. Even though we couldn't really stop, you know, we actually got to take a look at the lions that are out that often. Um, there were a lot of hippos swimming around. So a lot of fun. All right guys, that was my day here at Animal Kingdom. Um, I went on Dinosaur, I went on Everest, I went on Kilimanjaro Safari. I, uh, I got a drink, <laughs> got a drink. Um, but I just, you know what, I just enjoyed the day. I came here, came here to enjoy the day. I wanted to take you guys along with me um, just to spend a little bit of time at Animal Kingdom. It's been a while, so I'm glad that I came here today. Um, so until next time, we'll see you guys later.